The aim of this procedure is to modulate the function genes in Kupfer's vesicle, or the KV, in zebrafish embryo that is responsible for left-right patterning and analyze asymmetric fluid flow generated by motile cilia by delivering fluorescent beads into the KV. This is accomplished by first injecting fluorescent morpholino oligonucleotides that repress expression of a specific gene of interest in the yolk cell of a mid-blastula stage embryo, so that they load into dorsal forerunner cells that give rise to the KV. Next, injected embryos that have fluorescent morpholinos only in the yolk cell and the KV are selected for further analysis. Then, the embryos are mounted in depression slides and fluorescent beads are injected into the fluid-filled vesicle lumen of the KV. Finally, video microscopy is used to record beads flowing inside the KV. Ultimately, results can be obtained that determine whether tissue-specific depletion of a candidate gene in the KV alters asymmetric fluid flow through the quantitative analysis of bead movements. Viral demonstration of this method is critical as stage-specific morpholino injections and fluorescence bead injections are difficult to learn because both depend on poor propositioning of the embryo and the developmental timing of the experiment. To perform global morpholino or MO injections, collect embryos immediately after fertilization and load them into an injection plate.